What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy GS, and welcome back for yet another Meta 13 Online Wake Match. And today, we are bringing you guys some Saints gameplay going up against the Cleveland Browns. And yes, we, we edited it up nice and pretty for you guys because you know, you guys deserve the best. Whether I feel like I hate editing at this point or not, you guys deserve the best. So let's get into it. I definitely think I have the clear advantage offensively. I mean, Drew Brees, Marquise Coaston, Marcus Coaston, Mark Allen, whatever you want to call him, the big boy on the left side. That's what I like to think of him as. That dude is just a monster. Um, you got Graham, you got Sproles, you got Henderson. They're just, just, oh my goodness. Offensively, they're just beasts. Defensively, not so much. You know, they're definitely not the Super Bowl caliber team that they were defensively. Uh, and especially when you got somebody like me, you know, controlling the defense. But we end up getting a huge stop right there. Patrick ends up coming through with the sack, giving us great field position to go ahead and hopefully be able to score a quick and easy touchdown. So we go outside the Sproles, trying to get a run game started. But as you see, it was just shut down. Third and goal, we're just trying to find somebody in the end zone. Nobody's really open. The pocket is collapsing. So, we end up taking a sack, and we end up doing the smart thing, taking our field goal. I mean, the dude got sacked on, like, the seven-yard line. So, I'm definitely happy with the outcome. You know, those are three points, you know. So, now it's like the game is just starting over, you know. I got three points. He doesn't, and he lost out on the first possession. So, he decides to uh, start running the ball. Um, that's definitely the best weapon. You know, Richardson is, uh, he breaks a lot of tackles. You know, he's definitely good. Doesn't have, you know, tremendous speed, but... He, he has enough speed to, you know, reach the second level quickly, and he definitely breaks tackles. Look, just look at him. Look at him just breaking tackles. The dude is definitely a workhorse. Uh, right there, we end up uh, reading that run to the outside, stopping him. Uh, all we want to do is force him to pass, but uh, it's going to be difficult when uh, he's running the ball and having success. So we got to do a better job of containing the run, and right there, just a missed uh, overran tackle by me. I do that a ton. You know, I think they're going to go to the outside, then they go a little bit more inside, and I just completely overrun it. All right, at 35, right there, we force him to pass and don't test the user. He is so disrespectful. Somebody, please give that gentleman a link to my channel. All right, we end up going to Sproles. So look at that agility. Look at that speed. He's definitely one of the best backs in Madden. He has tremendous speed. He has great hands. You can always trust on him catching the ball. You can always trust on him being able to make plays for you. He has great speed. Right here, nobody's open, so we decided to go for the T-Bag. Look at Colson! Look at the big guy on the left side. That's, that's, I don't know how you pronounce that. There's lots of different names. You could, a lot of different ways you could pronounce it. You know, butter, butter. What am I talking about? Tomato, tomato, potato, potato, butter, butter. No matter how it is you said, you know what I mean. Marquez, Marquez. Well, that, that dude is just a monster. So we end up getting a T-Bag, and we are up 10 to 0. And anytime. You know, we're, we're up offensively with multiple possessions. We're feeling good, especially going up against the Browns offense. I mean, no disrespect to my opponent, not downplaying his play skills or whatever as he ends up ripping off a touchdown right there. Uh, you know, I feel confident that I'm going to be able to stop him. He has the Browns. You know, I'm not really worried about their offense. I'm not really worried that, you know, I'm going to have trouble containing him. I feel like eventually he's going to make mistakes, but I definitely got to stop his run. As you see, that was a huge touchdown. Puts him right back in his ball game and. If I'm going to be successful, I have to stop the run. I cannot continue to let him just, you know, run right through my defense. Right here, we go to a screen from the weak formation of Sproles. And that guy just has tremendous speed. And he has a run. Uh, look at his outside. Look at Look at whoop, whoop, whoop. Look at that double jump. Whoop. And he hits. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goony goo goo. Look at that double. Yo, the double juke is ferocious. Yo, it's real. Like, it gets real when you hit that double juke. Did you see the way I broke his ankles? And somebody, please pick up this man's ankles, put him on a shovel, throw him in a backpack, and mail him to his house because he's going to need those later. I'm telling you, that double juke is ferocious. If you guys haven't tried the double juke, I'm telling you, and I've been using it lately, it is ferocious. Just juke left and juke right in quick succession, and you are going to do damage if you have a high agility running back or receiver you know and oh my goodness as you saw the <laughs> Sproles made his defender look crazy right there I got off the defender but look at the big hit we bring in the lumber I said we are bringing the lumber we are 17 to 7 and we feel like we should be able to put this game away no problem we're standing in the pocket we decide to go deep look at the beautiful throw by Drew Brees throwing it to a wide open Henderson and now we are up 24 to 7 Drew Brees does get injured, but, you know, it's a low, um, 
type injury, low risk uh, re-injury. So he definitely comes back in the game. And one more stop, I feel like this game is just completely over. That's when we start consuming time and start playing, you know, uh, keep away. You know, he can't win if he doesn't have the ball. So right there, Johnson ends up taking off. He has like, what, 88 speed or something like that. He's definitely a fast quarterback. Uh, he doesn't have the best throwing arm. So now I feel like he's forced to pass. We definitely feel like we did a good job of getting a huge advantage and taking Rick, excuse me, uh, taking Richardson out of this ball game. So now, you know, if he wants to come back, he definitely has to pass the majority of the time. And right there, throws right in the coverage. And no super you zippies our second interception of the game. And uh, right before halftime, and that'll do it. He ends up quitting out the ball game. But you guys know I ain't going to leave you like that. You guys know your boy GS ain't going to leave you like that. So we decide to give you not one, but two multiple videos. And we give you guys another Madden 13 online ranked match and we go with the Broncos against the Packers and definitely a tough matchup man Broncos are a tremendous team and so are the Packers the Packers have a very ferocious offense Aaron Rodgers he's biblical so is Peyton Manning you know I definitely feel confident offensively you know uh Denver has a has a very good defense you know they have great defensive players Chan Bailey's a beast Von Miller is a ball hawking monster hopefully I can just uh, create a few mistakes from Aaron Rodgers to be able to put myself in a position to win this game. Right there, look at Porter coming through with the inside interception. We shade it to the inside and he comes through. So right now, it is Peyton Manning time to shine. And he's looking to go balls deep and just go deep inside those green sugar walls and score these touchdowns right there. We go to Tom and, whoop, 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 and we end up getting loose and we end up getting really close to the uh, red zone. So right here, we end up running the ball and I uh, usually use uh, Flamine, Famine, every time he's a Broncos, I don't know how to pronounce it, I don't know how to pronounce these names, man, I just know he, he's got like 94 speed, but last time I played, I used um, McGahee, and he did a really good job as he scores a touchdown, just being a very good, elusive, strong back, like he was breaking manual tackles, and those are the best, you know, the tackles where they just break by themselves, where you have no control, just the defender just breaks off from, you know, those Frank Gore type broken tackles. And uh, McGee had a tremendous game last time I played with the Broncos, so I decided to start him again. Uh, now we're back on defense, and again, we have the challenge of trying to stop this man, uh, Aaron Rodgers. The guy, look at that throw, just, just threading needles, man. That guy is just off the hook, man. Definitely one of the best quarterbacks in Madden. Look at that beautiful throw, just threading needles. And he ends up tying the game to a 7-7. But we are up one possession. You know, we got the extra po I mean, not in the scoreboard, but, I mean, we got that extra possession because we were able to get the interception. And we do get ball at halftime. So, uh, we continue to do what I know the Broncos can do offensively, which is put some points on the board. Try to delay screen right there to get absolutely nothing. So, now with second and long. Standing in the pocket, we're looking. And we go to the skinny. I said we go to the skinny. And we end up getting a beautiful throw right over the middle. Hand off to McGahee right there. Gets a nice game. I'm really liking McGahee a lot, man. Like, the more I use him, the more I just love his ability to just break tackles, man. Uh, third and five right here. Very big conversion. Can really use this. We're looking to reposition the drag. And he ends up dropping it. So, uh, crucial fourth down right here. We end up going to the inside motion fade. And we end up catching Thomas for a first down. Look at how butt naked that is. Look how nobody. Look how butt naked that was. You usually got to pay to see somebody that butt naked. So right here, we had RB wide open, but we weren't able to get it off in time. Uh, this time, we end up going to the trail route, getting the inside receiver. FL screen, and McGay, he falls forward just enough to get the first down. He was definitely stopped about a yard and a half shy of the first down marker, but he falls forward, and that's the type of things McGay he could do, man. I'm really, really loving him as a running back in this game. So we are up 14 to 7, and again, a stop right here would be huge. Give us the opportunity to go up not one, but multiple possessions and just try our best to maintain it from then on. And we do get ball at halftime, so that right there is definitely a good thing. Again, look at Porter with the inside interception. That man is just bah. He is bah. Ball hawking that inside streak and uh, fade or wheel, whatever he was running. Um, and he was doing good, man. And two interceptions in the first half, definitely playing big. Standing in the pocket, look at Peyton Manning breaking his own tackles. Right here is a very, very big third down right here. Third and seven, we end up handing off to try and play safe. And we actually end up getting a first down. I definitely wasn't expecting that. I was playing for the field goal, but we end up getting a first down, so that's even better. And uh, we end up pitching it off to uh, Flamin and uh, or Fahmin. You, you guys know what I mean, man. We end up scoring a touchdown with the fast guy. <laughs> so we're up 21 to 7. 
And if we could stop him here, get ball back at halftime with the potential chance to go up 28 to 7, I definitely think game is over if I'm able to get that type of score. But I still know that, you know, stopping Rodgers is, is not easy. You know, and it's not like I did something extra special to catch those interceptions. The computer just bailed me out, you know, uh, right there. And look at that beautiful pass on the outside shoulder. Just like a butterfly drifting over to the fingers. I have no idea what I just said, but <laughs> uh, just look at Aaron Rodgers throwing a dot right there over there towards the left. So time is winding down, and of course your boy GS gives up a score before halftime. When don't I do that? So right now it's 21 to 14, and we still feel good. You know, obviously it sucks giving up a touchdown before halftime, but I'm pretty much used to it. <laughs> you know, um, we would love to get ourselves in field goal range. We have all three of our timeouts, so let's see if we can work downfield and get ourselves in position. Reposition drag right there gets us a big first down right there. And we have to burn our first time out. Standing in a pocket. Again, we're just trying to find somebody open. We can't find anybody. We end up taking a sack. So, uh, right now, we didn't even call a timeout. We just went to the huddle. And look at that beautiful throw by Peyton Manning. Just beautiful loft. Like a beautiful butterfly. Just just springing from the cocoon nest in his brand new life. And he's flapping his wings for the first. Okay, that's going on way too far. <laughs> Basically, we get ourselves in field goal position, and we end up kicking a field goal right before halftime. So that right there was huge. We are up multiple possessions again, and we get ball back. But this man made a mistake and kicked me off the ball regularly. So we end up running to the right, we run to the left, we break a tackle, and we use the sheer speed that Holiday has to outrun every cheese head on the field. And we end up scoring a touchdown on the kickoff return. I'm telling you. My method has gotten me, and, and I haven't seen nobody doing it before me. So, if somebody has been doing that before me, uh, I haven't seen it. Um, just running to the right, the way that I do, or left, depending on what side of the field they kick it on. Uh, the computer just runs over there so dramatically that once you cut it back inside, if the blocking is right, you got a chance to take it back. I'm taking back almost one a game, you know, uh, just doing that. And uh, it's a very, very deadly method. If you guys want to just go back on the kickoff return, rewind it. And you guys can see how I just fooled the AI on running damn near out of bounds and cutting back inside. Uh, right here would be a very huge stop right here. You know, um, that definitely puts him back in the game. And right there, again, another interception. Just the computer coming through. I have nothing to do with that. The um, Just the defensive awareness of the Broncos coming through for an interception. 31-14. to 14, He ends up sending edge heat with Clay Matthews. He gets a uh, big sack. Standing in the pocket, man, nobody's really open. Nobody's open at all. I should have ran out and threw it out of bounds, but I was hoping somebody would break open, and we end up getting sacked right there. And uh, he ends up getting hurt. You know, Peyton Manning is out right here, so we got the backup QB. And look at the dot that we threw on second and forever. Look at the dot that we threw without Peyton Manning. This, oh, another dot. Look at Peyton Manning's replacement coming through throwing dots. Oh, why is Peyton Manning back here? I don't even want Peyton Manning in there now. But look at the tea bag with Thomas. And after that, he's like, where are we teabagging with Thomas? I've seen enough. I've seen enough of this tomfoolery. I'm done. This game is fake. So we end up winning that game, man. I hope you guys enjoyed. As always, it is your boy GS signing out, man. I just want to let you guys know your boy loves you. And we are out. Peace. Give it to me, baby.